Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 17th going to the 23rd, so this week. Okay, that I'm uploading this. Um, I am going to dump, jump straight into it. I already can't speak. Um, I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to see what's going on for you. These readings might be a little bit shorter just because I'm in the process of moving. However, I still wanted to get the messages out for you guys, okay? So let's jump straight into it. Alright, please spare it for Aries for the week. I'm seeing a rainbow. Okay, one more please. Okay, this is very nice. I do see that you're going to be surrounded by a lot of love uh, this week, whether that means in terms of relationships, like romantic, or whether it's platonic relationships or just acquaintances. It feels like you're going to be attracting a lot of positive attention which is always nice um some of you if you are single have the potential of meeting somebody around this time i think it's also because you're finding this self-love but it does feel like you're being educated about that through people whether that's you're finding people that inspire you to love yourself to love your journey a bit more um whether you're just enjoying if there's something to do with community here and really good positive community uh, that seems to be teaching you something and making you feel very good, okay? Anything else, please, for the initial J is coming through? All right. Overall energy, please, for Aries. Interesting. Clarify this for me. Um, okay, there's a few ways how this is going to go. If you guys are dealing with any legal situations or you're really wanting justice in a situation, you do have some very positive outcomes when it comes to this. This is something that you are deserving of and something that you've been waiting a long time for, okay? Whether this is an apology or whether this is just some you're gaining something back that you lost, that's coming through, but this feels like there's been a lot of time. This may have happened a while ago, um, and I will show you why I'm seeing that. In general this week, I do see that you are waiting for something. Um, so maybe this community and this uh, enlightenment that's coming through for you guys within this week is coming from what you're observing whilst being stuck and being patient whilst you're waiting for something, okay? Um, let, me, let me pull some more and then I will show you why I'm seeing all this, okay? For Aries, please. Okay. Can you just clarify this combination for me and then I'll... Okay, interesting. There is a heavy sense of like relationships, at least that's a topic coming through. So I'm going to dive into this and try to make sense of what I'm seeing, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you the oracle cards first to get these messages out the way because there is something quite specific coming through in the tarot okay so your first card out in the oracle deck is loyal heart so yes this is about loyalty finding loyal people finding a soul tribe this is in particular to do with a relationship okay finding the one this may be something that is definitely in your energy at this moment whether you found somebody amazing which, which for some of you you may already be with Okay, or this person may already be in your en like energy field, by the way, Aries, but anyways, uh, this is just people who are loyal um, to you, for you, you know, if people are speaking about you, this is the kind of person that will stand up for you or speak very positively about you, okay, so that's coming on the forefront, you could just be thinking a lot about love and this is why it's coming through here, is you may be wanting and desiring a relationship more than you are, you know, you usually do, or you could be just wanting that companionship, okay, we then have by the book, which is kind of calling community to me, the number 11 is 11th house, which is about networking and social groups and friendships, okay, so this may be highlighted for you within this week, but by the book is typically a card that represents the fact that we're being led somewhere and sometimes we may not understand exactly what it is we sometimes have to go to the status quo status quo do what we know works not a great time to kind of um do anything crazy do anything different which is interesting because i do see that they're asking you to take a leap but this is not an unexpected like I need to be careful with my words here because it is kind of contradicting. There is an energy of do what you know works, 
don't go try and do something with something that you don't know fully if it works or not it's more about trusting your gut instinct and trusting what you already know and not exactly yeah i will get to it don't worry i think the message will make more sense but by the book is just doing things by the book it's about doing what you know works if you guys are focused on your career or asking about your career around this time or wondering about your career or your path in general this is saying do what you know works for now do what you know best even if it's not something people agree with Going by the book is more about maybe your own terms, going by your own book here, something that you fully know within yourself is how you're going to get to where you're going to go. And I, I am picking up a very specific message for some of you that to be in it for the long term, not just short term gains, sometimes we have to um, go, yeah, go the long route because we know it's going to give us what it is that we want. Um, and be patient when it comes down to seeing results don't just give up and of course I'm speaking to Aries you guys are very I want to see results I want to see it to believe it I need to be here Um, you guys are very quick okay you guys do jump straight into the fire sometimes because you just want that quick quick uh, satisfaction but this is kind of saying here they're wanting you to dump, jump into something that is going to last long term some of you this could be indicating kind of relationships maybe you have been dating around or just speaking to some people but it's very uh, short fused i'm a bit terrible with my words today but i hope you guys understand that it's something that doesn't really last long like the fire kind of fizzles out uh, quite quickly so they're kind of asking you to go down very traditional routes um, not against what your beliefs and core systems are, of course, so just pay attention to what I'm saying that, but it's more about things that, okay, maybe I don't want these kind of short things anymore, maybe I need to change the kind of people I'm approaching, or the people I let into my life, or maybe I should go towards someone a little bit more serious, and a little less kind of, you know, fun and flirtatious, like you're changing something when it comes down to your relationships, maybe the same with friendships, it kind of feels like that's probably what's changing, is you're, you're changing the people that you have in your life and the kind of people that you're attracting in, which is interesting. But this feels like it's coming from a situation where you felt quite stuck. And I, I'm going to explain to you why. It feels like you're choosing a route that is more to do with you, which is interesting. I don't know if you've been living on other people's terms or there's been some social pressure around you to do things a certain way or whatever it might be, or there's just a lot of fear maybe, which is coming up and I will show you. Don't worry, I'm going to get to this. I said it was going to be shorter readings, but <laughs> I can't help it. They always say a lot. Um, the yin energy that comes through is all about self-love. This is kind of divine feminine empress energy, which is all about unconditional love. It's about going with the flow, not really forcing anything, but just allowing it to happen. You're very attractive at this time, Aries, so you may just look better. Maybe you're focusing just more on the things that you truly believe, um, which is interesting. It makes me wonder what the problem was before or the things that we're stopping you know, doing, because it's not entirely coming up here. Or maybe you've been wanting it from a specific somebody who's no good, all right? Or holding on to past situations, wanting an apology, wanting some clarity or emotional understanding in that matter. Wanting communication for some of you, okay? Even if it's not, I think it might have been a subconscious desire for some of you, but anyway. This week feels like something that is urging you to choose yourself. So I'm going to show you the cards coming through here. You are picking more mature, emotionally mature people to be surrounded by. I think if you felt not really yourself or that things haven't been working for you, I think that there may have been some immature people around you who've influenced your decisions un unknowingly. Uh, this sometimes just happens. Uh, your community is very important in general, okay? Because we do, as human beings, kind of adapt to situations. So I think something is changing with that matter. So... I will get to it. So your middle, your first card out is the hanged man. So Piscean energy coming through for you. This is about feeling stuck. And sometimes it's about putting yourself in a stuck position to go. Actually, I'm going to observe uh, instead of push forward at this time, which is going very well with that yin energy of flow. The hanged man is kind of just seeing what comes up, allowing things to, to transpire. This is feeling stuck on something, though, specifically because we have the three of wands. There's something that you are waiting for uh, to return back to and that is when we have that justice influence so it could just be you're just wanting fairness and balance in your life so you might be slowing down to start to see that and maybe that's where we were going wrong a little bit as we were constantly pushing forcing or maybe chasing people or chasing situations and maybe that's why it didn't really work out so now you're stepping back doing something 
in a different way going by the book maybe you've studied something whatever it may be and it's changing what's coming away so that's interesting your vibration your energy is changing areas within around this time the page of cups is coming through the three of wands so this is sometimes waiting for an apology waiting for something because emotionally feel, we feel like we need it page of cups whenever pages come through well, Page of Souls and Page of Cups for me are slightly similar, but just very different. <laughs> Contradicting again. Uh, the world is complex. There's always contradictions. But in a sense that there are an immature triggered energy when it comes up in a, in a reading. One is more emotional and one is more attacked, you know, defensive and blocked. You know, we have... So anyways, you guys might be dealing with some like codependency. And this is something that you're dealing with and understanding that actually maybe... The re only reason why I desired this was because, you know, I felt dependent on it to move forward, to move on with my life. This was something I was slightly emotionally attached to, maybe a little bit too much. So you are gaining emotional maturity, emotional in intelligence. Okay, you're understanding on a deeper level this inner child influence has been influencing your decisions, okay? Because Page of Cups, I was then asking a bit more about what you were waiting for, and it's the Knight of Swords. So it could be an air sign, it could be communication, could be things to happen very quickly. Okay, but this is something that you're waiting for. And of course, with the Page of Cups, we also have the Seven of Pentacles. So um, this is something that you have been trying to pursue for a while, or want, waiting for for a while, okay? You've been working towards manifesting, maybe even as well. So this hanged man is kind of like you're being stuck here, waiting for a reason. And I think it's for a change of heart. Maybe because this person isn't really going to come through or this situation isn't really right for you and that's why you've been waiting and that's why it hasn't really been coming here. Underneath the hanged man, to clarify it, we have the eight of swords. So eight of swords is actually what you seem to be understanding or at least maybe understanding through this reading. I'm not sure whether you are becoming enlightened from this position or things are just unfolding. I think you're actually dissecting the mind is what's coming up here and understanding why this has been happening so some of you are kind of getting like a bit of a light bulb moment here because eight of swords is coming from fear and i'm actually seeing in, in my head here that this waiting thing that you may how do i explain to you okay get ready for some visuals you can skip ahead but this is something i'm really seeing and i have to say what i'm seeing here is that like on the surface it looks like someone just patiently waiting and kind of like well not maybe maybe not patiently i am speaking to aries but um, kind of like anticipating something and staying stuck in your life because of it and it just kind of looks like someone waiting but underneath this hanged man is really the eight of swords and there is this enlightenment then actually maybe you've stopped yourself from moving forward out of some sort of fear because eight of swords is a feeling of entrapment it's a feeling of being tied up so this is kind of the reality of your situation was that you may have been holding yourself back for something to happen and then you have the two of swords which by the way is about usually cutting something out whenever this card comes through it is about making a decision this is a blocked energy so some of you if you are dealing with somebody is a blockage for these two to come out together there is a decision that needs to happen here and it may be to end something whatever that might be again it could be a career it could be um, certain friendships, certain relationships, certain people, whatever. Um, and I am going to push forward because I do see an outcome here for you, which is what Spirit's asking you to go towards. You don't have to, though. So Eight of Swords, Two of Swords is kind of like really, and again, the reality of this is that we might need to cut something out because there is a lot of blindfolding here. Maybe you're not actually seeing the truth of a situation. You may be very lost in your mind or in this fantasy or an illusion of some sort, Aries. Specifically for those who are speaking about person, again, um, not many people might like this message, but I'm going to put it out anyway, so please don't hate me, okay, for it. But this is a very stuck situation that's been keeping you up in your head and making you maybe feel a lot more like anxious about moving forward because you just need this one thing. I'm going to clarify a little bit more about what it is you feel like you need. And, well, actually, when I was already kind of asking about this eight of souls, why do we feel stuck? It's clarified by the two of cups. Some of you may have been in a very comic situation here um, in the past. It may be, you know, scared to open up to love. New love, should I say. There is an anxiety around it and a blockage to it. It's kind of blocking 
you're blocking yourself maybe because of something that you're wanting to happen. So two of swords with the two of cups, by the way. I am picking up devil energy with something that we feel a little bit obsessed or attached to. And that is also codependency too, is it? Not very healthy way of, of doing things. So to move forward and, and, and advice here was the full card. And it is in the opposite direction of all of this stuff that we are feeling like we're needing to wait for and, and receive. So combining that with the message we had in the beginning, you are going to get justice. Things are going to balance out for you. And this is something that you have been waiting for. But it may not be in a way that you think. And it actually seems to be stemming from this new beginning. When you jump away from something, no longer allow yourself to feel stuck and trapped by an influence of the past. When you just take this leap of faith, when you just move forward and do things the way that you know works. Or do something that you desire to do. Something that's already in your plans. Maybe that's what the buy the book card is about. And the full card is then leaping into, and I'll show you how it came up. That ten of pentacles. So for some of you, if it is relationships, that is that kind of marriage and, you know, long-term relationships. I mean, very stable, something that you can grow together in, move together with. It's about the house, you know, the money and the kids and whatever, whatever your, you know, long-term goal looks like to you, okay? I'm speaking very traditionally, but by all means, if that's not your thing, then it doesn't have to be. But it's just where you see what you envision success is that's something that you're going to be jumping into or being advised to jump into and this does feel like a thing to choose love to choose yourself and if there is a compromise of okay do i either do what i love to do or choose to love myself if that means you have to let go of somebody then that is not the right thing or something it's not the right thing for you you should never have to compromise self-love or like doing something that you love to do for the sake of somebody else or something else like that already means it's not aligned to you but of course sometimes responsibilities come at hand and you know obsessions or desires come through and that is that devil energy is exactly what comes underneath the devil energy it's something that makes you feel trapped feel stuck to feel like you need when the reality is you don't so you're choosing freedom or your advice is to choose freedom but it does come with really becoming enlightened with your actual situation taking that blindfold off and realizing that you do have a choice and that is quite hard because it's, it comes with okay in order to have this I need to completely let go of something and that's difficult two of swords and eight of swords is a ten of swords it's completely putting an end to something but with that being said, we then come to this Knight of Cups energy, which is very different from the Page of Cups. We're growing emotionally. We're learning how to handle our emotions better. We're learning how to handle love better, whatever it may be. Okay? So very specific for some of, for, yeah. So it may only resonate with some of you, but I really feel like saying it. So that Ten of Pentacles, incredible. Okay? And this is something that you've been working so hard towards, but maybe on the wrong thing. Because the Seven of Pentacles is kind of a feeling of wanting to give up. You put a lot of hard work and effort into something. All right, anything for Aries, please? All right. We have a few. Okay, okay. Yes. This could be, you know, um, to do with a cancer sign or um, a Leo, by the way. But again, like regardless of that, it's only because July came through and it did come through a tower. And now what's interesting is how I am reading this. And, you know, maybe in July, things are, the thing is going to get better. Solid foundation, success with effort. So if you decide to do things now in a few months, it seems like you're going to be in much more of a stable place. But for some of you, I kind of get a little bit of a mixed thing with that. Because Tower is also about, you know, things kind of coming to an end. So just pay attention to this. And all the other cards are kind of coming through is that. By the way, first thing first is we have dog protection from a powerful friend. So you are protected uh, regardless of the situation that's coming through. And maybe the Ten of Souls that may be coming up for you guys soon. You have Lightning. Control your anger. You'll be sorry. So don't do anything out of, again, like 
any kind of aggression. I know sometimes we can be angry and we have a lot of, you know, resentment and pent up things, but it's just about trying to keep your cool in the situation because lightning came out with peacock, okay? Beware of great pride. What we don't want to do is say something we don't mean. What we don't, Aries, you guys can be very hot headed, you know? Uh, so just paying attention to that. We don't want to be up on a high horse um, in a situation that could come back and bite us in the ass, okay? So you also have great sorrow, great personal sorrow. This could be something you're already experiencing, in which case, if this is happening here, you are going to find someone who's going to come through and give you that protection. Uh, and in July, maybe things are going to be a lot better for you, you know, with that solid foundation. Alrighty. But it does feel like having to take that leap of faith into that long-term thing and to let go of something that maybe was very short-term. Maybe that's the choice you have. Same with jobs, same with, you know, relationships. Aye. Okay, well, this is very uh, significant to you. You have know your worth coming through with the skunk spirit. You're very unique, all right? Uh, so it's about understanding that if somebody doesn't see your worth, doesn't mean that you're worthless. It just means, and I always say this, the other people are blind they don't see your potential they don't see your value and these are not the right people to be in your life and sometimes it's a very hard truth to kind of deal with but if you love yourself and if you know your wife the right people are going to come along and see it but it may mean you have to reject a lot of people it may mean that a lot of people are going to come into your life and you're going to have to say no because they're not appreciating you but that is fine completely okay stand in your power and know your worth here aries i know you guys are capable of it sometimes it is that devil energy it does make us feel like we need something because anyway, that's its intention is to keep you stuck but spirit's intention the universe's intention is to help you to succeed but sometimes we have to take that leap of faith and trust in the divine to get that so you will see results finances you know this is the abundance long-term abundance and something that does stay all right Anyways, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I'm sorry if it doesn't resonate for some of you. Maybe next week well, which will be posted this week if I'm on time, my goodness. Um, so it will be soon. So I apologize for being late, but I wish you guys all the best and I hope to see you guys next time.